Hey, how's everyone doing? On tonight's show, we're going to talk about the director's cut of The Godfather 1901 to 1959, folks. This is a bootleg I found on the a bootleg uh, DVD copy I found on the Australian eBay. And there's an interesting story behind this edition, folks. This edition was originally available on the VHS and Laserdisc collector's box set in 1993, I think it was. When Francis Ford Copeland uh, released the Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray 4K last year, I was annoyed this edition the 1901 to 1959 and the 1901 to 1980 version was never released on um, Blu-ray 4K. This edition has this this edition has a, a better storyline to it, and it's interesting because it's all the De Niro scenes in Part Two are in sequence. It's like um, this edition you can only get a bootleg copy. And the interesting thing I'm about to show you all in a minute is the bootleg copy is about 250 American dollars for the Blu-ray. It is ridiculous. I'll just uh, show you all the writing about this edition. It's quite interesting. You can um, you can pause it if you want and um, have a read of it. This is the edition I found for about 250 American dollars on Blu-ray. And this is a bootleg copy on eBay in America. I love the artwork here. It's really cool. I want this edition. I'm probably going to buy the $65 DVD. This is too much money to pay, but I wish this would get a proper Paramount, uh, Blu-ray and Blu-ray 4K release. This edition is awesome. I had this on laser and VHS and that, but it's like there's about it's 10 discs for the laser disc and that, but it's too many. You have to get up too many times to change it. Then I saw this the other day and I thought, oh, this will be an interesting topic to talk about because all the deleted scenes for the Godfather movies are on the in the um on the bonus disc on DVD and Blu-ray and that, and 4K. But this edition is only available on um, VHS, Laser, and the bootleg copy. Why the hell doesn't this have a um, proper Blu-ray or a 4K release of this edition? This is this is a 434 minute, that's how long this cut goes for. And I, I don't mind this cut. I think it's very interesting the way they went, Francis went back and made this edition and that in the 90s. But I, I still, I, when they did the 50 year anniversary last year, I was shocked when this was not on there. I thought they could have done two cuts on that because this movie, this movie is, this movie is great. And that. So many people love the Godfather trilogy. And that. I know I have. I'd love to know what you all think about this edition. If you've seen it. If you own own it. And that. Comment down the bottom. Leave it in the comment section. I would really int be interested to see what people have to say about. This is the VHS edition. From, from the 90s folks. The UK one. And that. Free, free tapes. This is the Japanese 1901 to 1959 laser disc from the 90s, folks. This is the um, this is the director's cut, but it's a Japanese version. I've never had this Japanese one, but um, I have seen this edition. But it's got the Japanese writing for all than that. It's like this movie would look awesome if it was cleaned up and this edition be got a proper release in that. Because I think a lot of people who haven't seen the director's cut would really like it. I I know I know I have the choice when I watch it because I have the VHS of it and that. But I know 
when I watch it, it's like, okay, I can say to myself, oh, am I watching a director's cut or am I just going to watch the individual editions? It's funny how um, this edition has never actually really seen the light of day and how it's only ever really been out there for the... Um, for the VHS and Laserdisc, but yeah, like I said, this would look really cool on Blu-ray 4K, and that, it's funny how I can talk about this movie, then I can talk, I'll, I'll talk about another one in a sec, it's like, how they, how Paramount could never even think about giving the 1901 to 1959 or the 1901 to 1980 um, producers cuts this movie for the 50 year anniversary. This shows me they really don't give a shit about what they're actually doing in that. It's like, it's like people are going to, sell these bootleg copies of this so uh so people can actually watch it and um and everything and that it, it's just it's interesting like someone came up with this idea oh i'll just put together the um 1901 to 1959 from the VHS or the laser disc edited and put it together on that and it's like for the Blu-ray one I saw on the American eBay charge what 250 American dollars for it and that it's just it's insane this DVD edition here this one I've been talking about the $65 one this is the one I'm probably going to go and buy because I I'm not going to pay 250 American dollars for the Blu-ray one. I'm sure everything on this uh DVD one I found here would be on the um on the on the DVD. Everything on the American um Blu-ray bootleg one I saw would probably be on this edition. Cuz yeah, I'm Chris, comment, subscribe, like this video, and I'd love to I'd love to see what you all actually think of this edition, folks. And that and to next week. Bye.